We're here at the Sabian booth and we're talking with uh, Jojo Mayer and I'm afraid I interrupted you during your lunch. Nope, that's all right. I'm good now. <laughs> I'm good now. Uh, wanted to ask you, um, what have you got going on in 2011? It's probably a busy year for you. Uh, yeah, well, I, a bunch of touring with my band Nerve uh, uh, in Asia and Europe. Mm, not so much this year here. Um, I release, uh, we will release a full length in the first half of this year, like uh, some new, new material. A bit of recording when I'm back home, you know. And uh, the Omni launch, we're we'll probably going to do a bunch of clinics to, to support Omni. Yeah. And since we're at the Sabian booth and talking about gear, can you tell us how the Symbol line came about? Yes, uh, well, it started actually, I stumbled over the, uh, the Bicante hand crash. And uh, what's, what struck me about that Symbol is that um, the extremely different tonalities from like the center and like the, the, the edge. So I started to play it and it worked out really well, but it didn't have enough amplitude. So I started to overplay it. Then I asked um, Mark if he could develop something that would, you know, have more amplitude so you could play with like the stick. So that was kind of like the basic idea that like started and, you know, we, it was a long journey that went through different, uh, you know, uh, stops um, and we discovered a lot of new ideas in the process of like, you know, following that original vision. So in a nutshell, it kind of like, I wanted the first real crash ride symbol, right? So something that actually, like, this is a big symbol and, and, and you can excite it with, it with your fingertips, but you can go at it with your tip of like the stick. So it would always be in control somehow. And uh, just a symbol which is not really stylistically bound, but more conceptually. So it's, it's really like a new symbol. And that's why we, decided to call it Omni because it really has all the different sounds in, in one. Yeah. And you have several different sizes. We have 18 and 22. Like that's what we decided to put out there because they were my, of all the symbols that we made, we evidently made a lot of prototypes and a lot of really great symbols that unfortunately you can't see right now. But we had to make a decision of somebody like what we're gonna put out. So the 18 and the, and the, and the 22 were the ones that I personally enjoyed the most and were the most fun to play. So, so the process was uh, fairly involved before you finally oh, yeah. settled? Oh yeah, it was, uh, um, this was the most complex symbol that I've been in, involved. I mean, it took about a, almost a year uh, because it's a radically new uh, way how to manufacture a symbol. And although there is, there's a lot of symbols out there that have kind of like different surfaces and, and different ladings, this really, uh, is a completely different symbol. I play all my drums in a rather unconventional way, so it's not that I need the, the two things to see where it is, because I can feel it, you know? But as a matter of fact, I don't know if you, does anyone have a drumstick? Okay, let's say like usually, we would say like a 22 inch is like, that's a ride size, and an 18 inch is like, that's a crash size. And yes, I can play a crash. Right? But I can also ride on it. And I can actually ride on it. This is something that I can't do with a crash cymbal. It's impossible. And same here. So I have a ride cymbal. I can also go. There's something I can't do with a 22 inch symbol normally. So that's kind of like the idea, you know, just, just you know, make a contribution of something which is a little bit different and, and, and my, my inspired people do, you know, play different things too or, you know. <laughs> that's awesome, great. Thank you for spending time with us, Judge. Yeah.